simple question. When is the last time you had that feeling in your gut? You know that moment or experience you just couldn't comprehend? Now, before I explain what I'm talking about, uh, I need to give this, this, do you mind holding on to this for me? And I need you to guard this with your life, okay? Don't let anyone get near that. Um, I want to try a quick experiment with the members of the audience. Uh, I have with me a deck of cards, and this isn't a normal deck of cards, actually. This is a blank deck of cards on one side, as you can see, and on the other side, there's actually names of different cities uh, in the world. For example, we got things like Tokyo, uh, places like New Delhi, Cape Town, <coughs> Paris, Barcelona, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rubber band and I'm going to wrap it around the back like this. And I'm actually going to toss this into the audience. And what you have to do is, is catch. Because if you don't, it will hit you in the head and I'm warning you right now. Okay? So once you do catch the deck, all you have to do is hold it in your hand like this. Take your thumb and just peel in somewhere in the deck and just remember the one that you landed on. If you've got one that I already named uh, as examples, just pick another one. So we have something completely random. Sounds good? Okay, I'm gonna toss it somewhere into this side. Does somebody catch? Make sure you do. Okay, perfect. Just can you stand up for me? And perfect, stand up. Take a peek somewhere in the middle or anywhere. Got it, and remember one? Got it? Okay, can you toss it backwards to someone in there? And remain standing when you do so. Can you can you stand up for me as well? Can you, uh, got one? Locked in, perfect. Can you throw it this way for me? Uh, someone over there, catch. Okay, cool. Can you remain standing, please remain standing. Uh, can you stand up for me as well? Can you lift lift up somewhere? Remember remember a, a name of the city. Got one. Perfect. Can you throw it somewhere in this direction? Somebody catch it. Watch out. Great catch. Can you stand up for me as well? Can you lift up somewhere and then remember a city for me? Got one. Oh, wrong side. I don't know. Got one. Okay. He's having a bit of difficulty. Got it. Perfect, can you toss it back to me? Oh boy, okay. Okay. Good throw, it's okay, it's okay, we don't need this anymore. It's fine, for the people, people standing up for me, can you just make your mind blank and just think of this city for me? Just think of this place, uh, if there's a monument associated with it, for example, if it's like Toronto, CN Tower, something like that. But just visualize this image for me and try to send that thought to me right now. I'm gonna try to do this all at once, I'm getting, don't react. Don't do anything, don't speak or sit or anything like that. I'm getting Dubai, New York, Beijing, and Moscow. If I name your city, please take a seat. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give me a round of applause. that moment that you just had right now, that, that wow moment, that's exactly what I was talking about. That's exactly what this presentation is about tonight. My job as a performer, as an entertainer, as a speaker, is to provide as many people as I can with that sense of wonder and that awe feeling. Even if it's two minutes or if it's ten minutes, I hope to share that experience with as many people as possible and, and hopefully tonight you can have that feeling for a little bit. With that comes the question, why is it important and why am I so passionate about it? You see, when we're children, everything around us is a new experience. Every interaction we have, every book we read, every song we hear, sparks that curiosity within us. But as we get older and the more educated we become, we start to see that the world isn't exactly what, we seem, exactly what it seems to be. Santa Claus isn't real, the Tooth Fairy isn't real, and a number of other things that we come, comes to our attention. And we start to become a little desensitized to that feeling. But it's my personal belief that having this is something that's very crucial because it helps us to ask questions and seek answers. It helps us stay on our feet and it helps us to push our imagination to another level. You know, I got into magic at a very young age. I started when I was around 10 and it's absolutely absurd, but I was in my room, I was doing my work and the window was open and almost as if by magic, an owl flew in with a letter attached and I got accepted to this place called Hogwarts. And ever since, it's been, it's been crazy. I think my roommate, his name was like something Potter. I don't know, he was like famous or something. But uh, I can assure you the magic isn't as bad as the comedy. 
But I really did get into magic at that age. And uh, you know, while my friends were out reading comic books, I was learning how to read minds. While my friends read the movies, I was watching videos. I'm the world's greatest magician, hoping that one day I can be this person. And even today, while at university, while my friends are out studying, I'm usually in my room uh, working on my next show. And my parents don't uh, uh, think that's the best idea, but they're very supportive. They love, they love what I do. Um, but today, I want to try something kind of cool with uh, someone in the audience. And hopefully, I can leave you with two things. One, like I said, that moment of astonishment. And number two, hopefully, some sort of inspiration. Being an Indian kid coming from a small city, uh, a lot of people just assumed that you know my forte was school. I never really thought that entertainment would be something that was in my line of work. Uh, but today I'm here standing doing what I love, and hopefully that can inspire you to go out and do what you love doing, and show you that you know things like race, religion, ethnicity, culture, uh, sexual orientation, things that make you who you are, things that make you special, uh, shouldn't be a hindering factor, but rather push you in your own way to chase those dreams. Uh, with that being said, I want to try something with the audience. Uh, does anyone have a cell phone that I can borrow? If you do, and if you don't mind me using it, can you put it up in the air for me just so I know that you're okay with it? Uh, wh what kind of phone do you have? Okay, can you stand up for me? Uh, what's your name? Eman. Eman? Uh, have we ever met before? We have. Okay, uh, maybe I'll use someone else on this one. Someone, someone who doesn't know me, does anyone, someone who I've never met before, can you stand up if you don't mind me using your... You in the back? Yes. Do you have a cell phone? Yes. What kind of phone do you have? Uh, Samsung Galaxy. Uh, does anyone have an iPhone? I need an iPhone for this. So we're, we're gonna do this. You do. Can you stand up for me? Perfect. You'll see one in a second. Uh, have we met before? No, you seem quite happy about that. Um, so we'll, we'll do this. Do me a favor. If you had to think, uh, that's a lot of thinking going on right now. Hold on. Let me just do this. What's your name? Georgia. Can you spell that for me, Georgia? Jordan, perfect. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Georgia, if I were to ask you to pick a number between one and a hundred, what would you pick? Um, Is there a reason why you pick that number? Uh, the reason I ask is because I want to know if we're connected. Can you read what that says out loud? It says Georgia will pick 44, sorry, from far away. That means we have a certain connection. Can you join me up on stage for a second, if that's okay, while they give you a round of applause? Yeah. Don't worry, the first time I saw this trick, I was as amazed as you were, and I also didn't forget to applaud in the beginning, that's okay. <laughs> So I have some envelopes and I have some cards, and what I actually want you to do is I want you to think of a simple drawing, something maybe that means something to you, not too simple like a stick figure, but like not, you know, something too overly complex as well. Got one in mind? Can you just stand ready for me? Perfect. What I want you to do is actually just think of this drawing, and I want you to just draw it out here for me right here, and like fill it out there, and here I got pencil for you like this, and while you do this, I'm going to actually stand in front of you so that the audience doesn't see what you're drawing, because I want it to be sort of a surprise, and um, it, just, just, yeah, just fill it out there, and that's, yes, that's it, okay, perfect, so I'm going to stand in front of you, and block your slide of view so people don't see what you're doing, but in the meantime, I'm going to do a trick for the audience, um, you sir, right here, yes, yes or no, is your name, by any chance, Yes or no? Alex? No. Listen, your answer, correctly predicted. No? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really cheap gag. Uh, <laughs> are you almost done? Yeah. Almost? Okay. We'll give her another second while I struggle with putting my jacket back on. Professional showbiz at its finest. Okay. Let me know when you're done, because I don't want to see what you've drawn. Perfect, are you good? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I'm just going to open this up for you. Can I take that back? I'm just, this is perfect. I'm just going to slide it back in. Uh, you're not going to forget this? Right away. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Hold on to this. Hold it nice and tight. Uh, we'll do this. Hold on. Just put this. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to just hold it into the light and make sure you can't see through it. Something it's like, it's not like a, like 
a see-through kind of thing, right? If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm wording this correctly. Okay, perfect. Um, looks good. I'll take the pencil back. Put this away. Actually, you know what? Okay. Oh, we'll get rid of this. We'll do something different. Get rid of this. We'll do this. You know what? You can use this. Hold on to this for me. And I'll take this from you as well. Can you take this marker for me? You can drop these on the floor, by the way. I mean, yeah, yeah, drop, 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 drop. Here you go. Hold on to that for me. You know what? I want the audience to see what you did. Can you actually recreate the image for me, but nice and big, so that this time it's more visible? Can you do that? The image you drew. Okay. Yeah, okay. Can you stand back to back so I don't see what you're doing as well? You don't have to, like, like wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very simple. Uh, okay, we'll try this. Stand, okay. Okay, when you're done, hold it to yourself so that I can't see what you're doing, okay? Let me know when you're done as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna try. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can start, you can start. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you're done. Are you done? Okay. I'm going to take a step away from you. Is there a reason you chose to draw what you drew? Um, yeah, it's literally about this. Okay. So that's the, that's the reason? Yeah. Okay. Well, I want you to close your eyes for a second. I'm just going to show the audience what I have in mind. <laughs> I think it makes sense now to the audience as well. For the first time, can you show them what you drew? <laughs> Interesting. Um, once you go back in time to to that that your very first crush, can you do that for me? And that name, can you? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Can you imagine this person walking towards you right now? Can you do that for me? Now I want you to mix up the letters uh, in his name in your mind. Just scramble the letters here and there. Do you feel like there's like a there's like an A in the middle somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Can you close your eyes one more time? I don't want you to see what I'm doing. Um, I'm getting a feeling like... Keep your eyes closed. I'm going to show the audience what I'm thinking one more time. And in a, nice, in a nice, clear, loud voice, can you let the audience know who is this person that you're thinking about? His name. His name. His name is Jay. Guys, bring out Jay for me really quickly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that would be really good though, right? Can I have the marker back? And can I borrow your phone this time really quick? Perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna... Oh, can you... Can you uh, just... Just whisper your pin code in for me. I don't, you don't have one? Oh, you can... You can right, sorry. I'm, I'm a bit... I'm a bit old school with technology. Okay. We're gonna try this. Um, we're gonna... I'm looking for the calculator. So. There you go. Perfect. We're trying this. Is there, sorry, is there anything on this phone that you don't want people to like, <laughs> like know about? Because I'm pretty bad at keeping secrets, um, so that's going to be problematic. Okay, we'll try this. Hold on. Here. Oh, want to take a photo of the audience? No, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll, we'll try something different. Uh, can you point to anyone in the audience for me really quick? Who are you looking at? That's a general area. <laughs> That area, just an individual person, point someone out, maybe the shirt they're wearing or something. Um, like, he's wearing a dark shirt. This, okay, this guy, okay, can you stand up? Can you name out, in, out loud, any three-digit number? Oh, two people stood out, okay, cool. You can, in the back, any three-digit number. Um, 519. There's face. Okay, 519, okay, do you want to do plus or minus, or, or multiply? Multiply, okay. Can you point to another person in the middle really quick? Okay, blue shirt, okay, can you, can you, okay, there's two people in blue shirt, sorry, can you, in the, in the front, sorry, can you, yeah, any three-digit number out loud? Eight. Eight, okay, cool. We're gonna multiply or add? Multiply by eight, okay, perfect. And I want you to, any secret three-digit number, uh, we're gonna do, yeah, any, you, you type in a secret random number, it doesn't matter, just type in the three-digit number. It doesn't matter if I see it, just anything. Perfect, and hit equals for me. Okay, that's a, 
extremely large number. Uh, can you do me a favor? Can you read that number out loud for me? You can do it one digit by digit, it's fine. Two, one. Two, one. Three, oh, four. Three, oh, four. Zero, four, one. Two, one, three, zero, four. Okay. Um, does the number mean anything to you at all? No. Nothing? Okay. Um, I'm going to leave this here. As a magician, you know, I use a lot of different techniques, and I think one of them is influence. Do you believe that you've been influenced today at all? In a, even in the slightest bit? No. What about you guys in the audience? Yes or no? Not at all. Yes, no, okay, I'm getting mixed answers. Well, I'm here to tell you that I think you have been, because if you take a look at these numbers, I think they, they were subconsciously embedded in your mind. I don't know how many of you took a look. When you walked into this room, you guys all had stamps on your hands. If you take a look at what the stamp says, you can actually see a number written on it. And if you actually take a look, it probably should say 2130404. Either you guys are really impressed or stunned in silence, I don't know, one or the other. Is that kind of weird? A little bit weird? Okay, we'll take it up a notch. I, I gave you something to hold on for me, right? And no one's been coming close to this at all? Okay, perfect. Watch this. Can you, can you put your phone away for a second? I'm just going to open this up. If you take a look, can you hold the top and then one on the bottom? Perfect. I'm going to do this kind of slow. If you take a look, I actually have two, one, Three, zero. Can you move over here? So this way, this way, this way, this way. So they can see the sign over there. Perfect. Two, one, three, zero, four. Zero, four, one. You, you guys act like you can do stuff every day. Come on. Come on. Here we are. But wait, I, I wanted to take it up a notch. I told you I wanted to leave you with some something to think about, uh, a sense of wonder for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this number, if you actually take a look, let go for a second, hold it this way for me, you can actually see what it says. It actually says wonder. And like I said, my name is Samuel Joseph. Thank you so much for your time here tonight. I hope you guys did feel a little bit of wonder, a little bit of curiosity and excitement. And I hope to see you guys around. Thank you so much and have a great day.